Hi everybody, thank you for joining me here at Cotty Taplin Styling for another video. Last week I talked about some basics of fit and tailoring. This week I want to go more in depth and talk to you about how to get a great fitting women's wear wardrobe. I had previously mentioned how about 90% of us have some sort of fit issue and are not always able to get a perfect fitting garment right off the rack. There are definitely some tips and tricks on how to get better fitting clothes and I will talk about those in this video. So make sure that you stay tuned all the way through the end to learn what those are. Let's get started. When talking about trying on clothes and the fit of a garment, there are a few things that you wanna keep in mind. The first of which is the main points of measure for a garment. So check out my lady friend over here and she will show you what those are. They are the neck circumference, shoulder width, arm length, bust circumference, natural waist, which is where your torso bends at the midsection of your body and is usually the narrowest and therefore most flattering part of a woman's body the low hip, which is usually the widest part of a woman's lower body, and the inseam, which is generally how pant length is measured. The second thing that you want to think about is proportion. You wanna make sure that there isn't an element of the garment or the garment as a whole that is out of scale with the size of your body. You wanna make sure that you are wearing the garment and that the garment is not wearing you. And I know that right now there is an oversized trend happening right now, but a trend is just that. It's something that is going to go away in a season or two. And these tips are meant to help you create a lasting wardrobe that can serve you for years to come. The third thing to think about when trying on clothes and the fit of garments is whether or not you have a part of your body that may be a little bit bigger. You might have broader shoulders, a bigger chest, or you may be a little bit hippy. You want to find the correct size garment for that area of your body. You do not want to fit smaller shoulders if you have a broader chest underneath those shoulders the pulling or gaping of fabric will never look flattering and it will always look like your clothes are too small. So fit the widest part of your body with the garment and then have any excess fabric tailored. So you've gone shopping and you found something that you love. Maybe it needs a little bit of work though. Maybe the hem is too long or the waist needs to be taken in or something like that. As I mentioned in my previous video, find a local tailor and make friends. Find out what they're good at. Find out if you like the quality of their work and bring in your clothes to them. Make sure that they specialize in the types of items that you are going to be bringing to them. 
If you have a suit jacket that needs to be tailored, do not go somewhere that specializes in dresses. I promise you, it will not end well for you. You will have a jacked up blazer and you will not be happy. Okay, you're at the tailor. You will try on the garment and they will pin it to you, making sure that it fits perfectly. Now is the time to speak up though if you do not like the way something looks. And if they are a good tailor, they will make sure that all the finishing matches the way that the original garment was made. However, if you're curious, just ask. I'm sure they will not mind. Additionally, if you have any special requests, now is the time to ask for them. Maybe you would like to change out the buttons or add in a hidden snap somewhere to make sure that the garment stays fastened, whatever the case may be. Think about what would make this garment perfect for you. The last thing to think about when having something tailored is the cost. There are certain things that are relatively inexpensive, like having the hem of a pair of pants done or having darts put in a shirt or loose fitting dress. However, there are other things that are prohibitively expensive, like having the shoulder and armhole of a blazer reconstructed or taking off the waistband and having a pair of suit pants redone. So I would highly recommend to always ask about cost upfront because it may not be worth doing all of that work on something, especially if either the item was not that expensive to begin with or the item can be returned and you could possibly find something that fits you a little bit better. Here is my lady friend again to show you some common alterations. Think about these when trying on clothes if you come across any issues. Hem lengths. Bringing up the hem length of a pair of pants shorts, dresses, or skirts, all very easy. Bringing up the length of a sleeve, making the waist smaller on any type of bottoms, and adding waist shape or definition to a loose fitting shirt or dress. The other fun thing to do with tailoring is to refresh an old garment. Maybe you have a top or a dress that has an outdated sleeve and because of that you no longer wear this item of clothing. Take it to your tailor, adjust the shape of the sleeve, or remove it entirely and this could become your new favorite item of clothing. Maybe you have an old pair of pants or a long skirt. This item can be shortened and then you can wear it in a new warmer season. Give items new life by tailoring them. Literally, you can do anything with your tailor. Have fun with it. Do great things. Give items new life. Thank you all for joining me here today at Cotty Chaplin Styling. I hope that this video on how to create a better fitting women's wear wardrobe was helpful for you. And I hope that you use some of these tips and tricks to get yourself into some great fitting clothes. As I said previously in the last video, I will be doing a third one on how to get a better fitting menswear wardrobe, and that one will be coming out soon. As always, I would love for you all to like and subscribe to my channel. And I would love for you to comment on the videos below, ask questions, and let me know if there are any topics that you would like for me to cover in the future. 
And if you would like a personal fit and styling session with me, please check out my website, Cotty Tap on Styling, and sign up for an appointment today. Please take care, be kind to one another, and get yourself in a great fitting wardrobe. See you all later. Bye.